Alright. So, you chose Ephesians to uh, read out of. So, I'm, I'm going to take a little section from Ephesians 5 and make sure. Okay. Alright, so, this is for you, Gohar. Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children, and walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. But fornication and all uncleanliness or covet covetousness, let it not be e even be named among you, as is fitting for saints. Neither filthiness, nor foolish talking, nor coarse jesting, which are not fitting, but rather giving of thanks. For this you know, that no fornicator, unclean person, nor covetous man, who is an idolater, has any inheritance in the kingdom of Christ and God. Let no one deceive you with empty words, for because of these things the wrath of God comes upon the sons of disobedience. Therefore, do not be partakers with them. That section in my Bible is uh, labeled, Walk in Love. And I think that's pretty cool. I'm, it's been a while since I've been in Ephesians, so I thank you for sharing this with me. It's kind of cool that Christ was a sacrifice to God for a sweet-smelling aroma. I wonder if that was the only one that was sweet to God. I guess I'll have to ask him when I get to heaven. Anyway, the uh, section that I chose is Psalm 121. And uh, starting out, I was like, oh, I have to do this one. So anyway, it is a song of ascents. I will lift up my eyes to the hills. From whence comes my help? My help comes from the Lord, who made heaven and earth. He will not allow your foot to be moved. He who keeps you will not slumber. Behold, he who keeps Israel shall neither slumber nor sleep. The Lord is your keeper. This is your shade at your night hand, at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor the moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. The Lord shall preserve your going out and your coming in from this time forth and even forevermore. So I was very thankful today um, for many reasons. One, that I'm still alive and talking to you, maybe even for a moment, but I am nonetheless, and uh, I, I prayed for many things before I started this trip. Protection, number one, that's usually pretty much a given when traveling, and wisdom, and I think that's coming into play a little bit here. Um, there was one other thing I prayed for, um, specifically as a request and that was good weather and as a result it's been amazing all day the clouds keep trying to build but it never actually happens so. thank you for sharing this time and I will talk to you later